Hi guys, it's Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Today I'm going to answer a question that someone asked me about what I carry in my cook kit. Now as I've said several times, my primary cook kit is a U.S. Army canteen set. So let me go over what I carry. It is a current issue style pouch U.S. Army canteen. I carry the canteenshot.com Negaline Canteen. I've already done a video on this, but I really like it because I can put boiling water in it and I can see my water. The next thing I carry in the kit, of course, is my canteen cup. Tight. I kind of like that. I can pull it out and I don't have to worry about dragging out my cup. Mine's the butterfly handle style. And I carry the old style canteen stove. Because I like the fact that it locks onto the actual canteen cup snugly. Now, some people like the new ones. I think the new ones by Canteen Shop are a great thing. I personally like this old one because with it I can rake coals out of the fire, make a pile of them, sit the cup down on it, stir, fry, whatever I'm doing. And then if I my coals start to get a little cool, I can rake a new pile out and just shift to the new pile and keep cooking without having to feed little sticks in a door and stuff like that. It's a whole lot of work to me. I'd rather rake a pile of coals about the size of a coffee can and sit it up there and get it cooking right now. Or put a hexamine tab or a cotton impregnated, uh, a wax impregnated cotton ball under here and burn it that way. Either way, I, I get to cook without having a lot of muss. Also, I like the fact that it does stay on so when I pick it up, it sits with it on in place and when it's out of the way it'll snug up and just ride on the cup i use it that way without having to take it the next thing i carry in here is a piece of heavy heavy aluminum foil now what this is is you know those tops uh, i mean uh, those pans that you get at christmas uh, to roast a turkey in or something like that they're big old heavy roasting pans that's what this is. I recycled a piece of a roasting pan and I made a lid that will now fit on top of my cup. Just like this. Now, of course, I gotta mesh it. And if I'm planning on using this for the actual cooking, then I'll go ahead and fit it. It's been in the bottom of the thing a while and it's kind of, there we go. Kind of crumped up. What you do is you go ahead and you form fit it. I just traced it out, add a little lip all the way around the side, just like that. Now I've got something that I can easily take on and off. Just lay it up there and I can mash it down and it will stay on there, you know, while I'm cooking. It's to keep cinders and stuff out or if I'm trying to, you know, slow steep something or whatever. Two, if I turn it upside down, I bury it in the coals and I'm baking something like a Dutch oven, which I do this with, I put it on and crunch it down tight to hold my food and keep the, you know, stuff from getting to it. Also, I'll put things in here that's got to swell up. If I'm carrying dry foods like dry peas, dry beans, something I want to swell up overnight, I put my water in and then do this. Makes it handy. Also, when I'm cooling my water, and it have to be done in the canteen cup. I've already filled up my canteen. I got another one. I put this on and set it aside to keep bugs and stuff out of it. This is my newest addition to it. I picked this up at Walmart. It's a spork and a little wonder tool. I think this is like $3. I like the way that this shape of this little spatula fits the canteen cup. It fits the bottom real well in the corner so I can clean food out and it's also got a serrated edge on it so I can cut food up with it or whatever and it's a chisel tip all the way around so I can scrape, stir, fry, whatever I want to do. It's been a good addition to the kit and of course the spoon nests to it and stays latched together. I put it behind the flap so the flap keeps it pinned in place. Next. On the left hand side, I keep a couple little bottles. I keep water purification tabs in here and I keep a small bottle like this that's got matches in it. And I normally carry across the top right here another one of these 
It's got an allspice of some kind in it. I use a, a type of spice called crazy salt that I find down here in my area that I really like. It's got several different spices blended and it makes it very handy for salting and seasoning my food. And it's right there close and handy. On the other side, I carry as many pieces I can fold up of aluminum foil. Now, aluminum foil is very underrated. Anybody that came up in the Boy Scouts in the old days knows the purpose of aluminum foil. You can take this and wrap it around food like apples, potatoes, whatever, meats, whatever, and put it directly in the coals of the fire and bake. Very worthwhile addition. It can also be used as a plate. A lot of times when I'm preparing food, I'll open this out, and this is like a two-foot piece of aluminum foil. I carry bigger pieces in here that allow me, and a lot of times I'll mark on the outside with a magic marker to let me know it's a two-foot, one-foot small piece so I don't waste it. You know, this is the thin stuff. I'm only going to use it one or two times, and then I'm throwing it away. You could carry the heavy, if you like. But this heavy piece lid, I use like a little plate as well. It just rides in the bottom of the canteen cup carrier. And thus, I've got a place to, you know, if I'm browning some meat, and I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to put the uh, water back in for potatoes and stuff like that to mix it together, this is where the meat rests. Or, I wrap it up in here until I'm ready to eat. Now, with these pieces, you can also make something else. And when I'm going to be doing a camp for a few days, sometimes I set this up, and it's my swamp oven. It's what my granddaddy called it. Give me a minute to set up, and I'll show you how we do it. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, here's what I've done. To make a swamp oven, I've dug a pit, in which case this is my existing fire pit, but you get the idea. And I'm going to rake a bunch of coals in it, a good bed of coal, pretty good size. Now this is just a simple A-frame like you'd make a drying rack. It's an A with crossbars on it. Now, what I'm going to gather to be my grill is greenbrier, which is everywhere here in the south. It's all over the trees. And if you don't know what greenbrier is, just look it up. Sometimes called gotcha vine, several other things. But it's a non-poisonous species. It grows back very quickly, very easily. But even more important to that is, it's so full of water, it steams rather than burns. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put my grill across, just like this. This would be lit, and I'd have a good-sized bed of coals right there. I've covered the two ends of this A-frame with aluminum foil. To, and the shiny side facing in to act as a heat reflector. Now, stacking these nice and green, and all these sticks need to be green, of a grill in here, just like that. Now, I take my hunk of meat that I was going to cook, fish, a big hunk of pork, whatever, and lay it right up on top of this, making sure this rack is sturdy enough to support it. And what you do is you take the two corner sticks, Make them long and stick them down in the ground. You could do the, the ends with Y's if you could find Y, you know, branches that already exist, or you can make them like this, lash it all together. But I do it just like that to capture and hold the meat. And then what you do is you take your big piece of aluminum foil, which like I said, I carry a couple of feet of it at a time. In this demonstration, I brought the roll. You want to get right in the middle, kink it up real good, like two folds over, just like that. And now what you're going to do is drape it down just like that over the top of the meat. Now, you want this to be a little narrower than I got it. You actually want the width of the aluminum foil to come all the way to the end, so you may have to do two. But by putting the meat in there and leaving it like this, it's going to trap all that heat and it's going to bake. Now, I can easily grab this and lift straight off, see, to check my meat and accept if I get a flare up. Then I just flare it and put it back. That's all there is to it. Hang on guys, let me reset. Okay guys, that's it. I carry the aluminum foil and I carry my canteen. I've got a little bit of spice in here. I have water purification, the ability to make fire, and I've got aluminum foil, a lid, cooking set, and that's it. This is my primary cook set. Now, typically whenever I'm going, I carry some form of food with me. An MRE is a backup. 
usually some sort of dry food like rice, instant potatoes, packet of spam, something like that. That's, that's enough for me because I'm going to forage as well. I'm going to try to pick up, like this time of the year, tons of green briar everywhere. I like boiled green briar. I like dewberries. I like several other things that are in season right now, and I can pick up wild greens everywhere. I'll even a lot of times carry packages of little instant um, salad dressing for like Italian or something like that, where I can add water to it and mix it up and have salad dressing to put over. Or I'll carry little packets that you pick up at the fast food places of salad dressing. And they could ride in one of these pouches as well. So I'll make me a little salad in the cup and eat, you know. You don't need that much we we're in a society that's assuming you know breakfast big meal lunch big meal dinner big meal you can do that a lot of that plus once you start foraging you'll find out that you can do with a lot less and be happy you know have food don't go without food carry it but look at what you got to do everything that i'm going to carry i can prepare in this i can boil it i can heat it i can fry it i can do whatever i got to do in this the aluminum foil, like I showed you, can be used to bake directly in the coals. It can be used to make an oven. If I'm going to be here a couple of days, I can bake biscuits on that thing if I want to bring instant biscuit mix and mix it up and put it on top of those sticks and bake biscuits. Or bake muffins. Or lots of different things that can be created just by carrying a little bit of aluminum foil and a little bit up here. I hope this gives you some idea, guys. I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.